the famous Acme Comedy Theater in Hollywood, it's Acme Saturday Night. Starring Jason Philipper, Kimberly Huff, Richard Key. Bill Kessler, Joseph Limbaugh, Laura Putney, Michael Schuster, Eric Stitt, and Billy Viegas. guest, The Sheep, and your host, Noreen DeWolf. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Noreen DeWolf! Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Noreen DeWolf. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, so I usually do film and TV, you know, where we get to do multiple takes of the same thing. So I've been really, you know, nervous about getting up here on stage and doing this live. <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know, I, I was racking my brain to be like, you know, how can I, how can I get these people to laugh, you know? Because I can't be like, yo, cut, I'm going to do this again, I'm not feeling it. So I just decided that I'm going to take the loudest laughter and show them my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? It's good, it's good. Yeah. Uh, me and the guys uh, were, we were talking backstage and we were saying uh, we really liked your work. We loved actually in Maxim's Top 100. Yes. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, Hot Ladies 2007. Very sexy. Uh, well, <laughs> that's nice, you guys, but I, I didn't really do any work per se. You know, I mean, it was a photo shoot and all that, but I think I think like the film and TV that I do is a better example of who I am. Like Ghost of Girlfriend's Past or you know, my series Man Eater or The Goods, you know, just in theaters now. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I, I know what that's like. Uh, I was North Hollywood's hunk of the month in May 2001. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, Good that's job. great. Yeah. Oh, we also wanted to say that uh, we don't agree with Maxim ranking you as number 100. Nope. No, no, we no. You know what, guys? Don't, don't worry about it, because I don't, I don't really, I'm not a numbers girl. I don't pay attention to numbers. Uh, well, we put together our own list, and uh, I just want to say we ranked you as number 95. What? <laughs> uh, well, you know, you, you were in the in the top 100, which makes you super hot. So you know, uh, at least during the year of 2007. <laughs>
We shot a deer and grabbed it. That was very lucky, yes. Okay, why'd you let it go? We're trying to, we're trying to catch the fly. Why? It's really easy to catch. <laughs> I, I want to do that. I, I want to do that. I see. I see. I, see, I want to do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah, yeah, did it come with all 
those vitamins? Because it's full of vitamins. <laughs> and you're storing them there. The gazebo was only $299. <laughs> Imagine the savings. Do you want to save for dinner, Tom? Oh, yeah, great, thanks. Okay. Maybe, uh, do you want some wine? <laughs> declared part of New Jersey our newest national park, named Shithole National Forest. <laughs> that kid looks like he's having a blast. In science news, NASA says it will try to launch the space shuttle Discovery next week, because if there's one thing an astronaut wants to hear while strapped to a giant space-bound hydrogen bomb, it's, eh, we'll try. <laughs> it's a very old photo of an astronaut. <laughs> the most current photo, well. In health news, this week proved that the health care debate just won't die. Meanwhile, the people without health care continue to. <laughs> In political news, <laughs> he looks happy for a guy who's going to die because he doesn't have health insurance. It's a nice hat. 
in, where am I? In healthcare news, this week Bill Clinton turned, no, not healthcare news, in political news. Same thing, Rich. Yes. Thanks, Dan. I'm perfect at this. <laughs> in political news, Bill Clinton turned 63 this week. Clinton says he already got the best birthday gift in the world, a wife who constantly travels. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you for the assist there, tech department. In other health news, men are much more likely to have casual sex and lower standards than women, according to the dumbest fucking study in history. <laughs> In international news, a French town has banned elephants from bathing at its beaches, but sadly, we continue to allow it. Oh. That's so gross. <clears throat> in other, ah, uh, jeez. In other international, sorry, that was so gross, I can't move on. In other international news, a German high court has ruled that banned Nazi slogans may be legal if they are translated from German into English. Legally allowing this, to be translated into this. <laughs> Thank God we live in a liberal town. And finally tonight, according to a new study, more women than ever are drinking and driving, begging the question, why are none of them drinking and driving over to my house? You, anyone need to take out a pen, take it down? All right. I'm Richard Keith. That's the world I see. Good night, everyone.
think Amy still hasn't started yet, has it? Does it look like the curtains have gone up? No, it's just oh. sometimes they have a preemptive strike on that. Okay, you? I can't understand you. Why do you take that thing out? Because when you agree to wear orthodontia, you enter into a sacred trust. <laughs> <laughs> and I missed those that last night. I didn't wear it, so I have to make up those hours. Oh. You've got some dirt on your upper lip. That is my mustache. I grew it for the show. Awesome, right? <laughs> Amy, I was just thinking about fate and the nature of fate and how we sat together all year because you're third chair of flute and I am first chair of trumpet and thinking that also you should be my girlfriend and we should go out. Oh my god, the curtain's <laughs> opening. You better take that thing out. Oh, flexical. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You guys, thank you 
so much. You know what? This yeah, yeah. Said that they're not going to be very long time. No so worries. Go ahead and have a seat. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, you know what? Can you, uh, can I, can I get you something? Uh, no. Glass of wine. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I'm good. You know, I have to be at work in like 30 minutes. I don't, I don't drink and drive. So oh. Here you go. Oh, oh, I don't, you know, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't drink. Oh, you don't drink. Yeah, I got to work, so I have to be on set. Oh, set. <laughs> Do you want to stare into my eyes and talk about it? <laughs> How about some music? You know what? I love music. I, I just love the soundtrack from your movie West Bank Story. I keep it always queued up on my iPod. Would you like to dance? <laughs> Would you like to dance with someone who actually knows the dance? Richard Keith with this Agme News update. And now with a political update, a man you may have already heard from briefly. Uh, speaking of, <laughs> I'm so good at this. Speaking of the recent town hall kerfuffle, kerfluffle, we have our very own political correspondent, Joseph Limbaugh. Please help me, Joseph. Thank you for that elegant introduction, Rich. You are welcome. How are you doing? I'm great. Uh, Rich, perhaps you saw this recent exchange between Barney Frank and a concerned citizen. Let me answer the question. Yes, and you stand there with a picture of the president to face to look like Hitler and compare the effort to increase health care to the Nazis. As you can plainly see, it's an attack against the Hitler mustache. Mm. I'm sick of the assumption that anyone with a Hitler mustache looks like an asshole. What? Here, put this Hitler mustache on. No, I'm not gonna... <coughs> what am I doing? See? It's no big deal. You don't feel like committing genocide? <laughs> no, but I just don't Yeah, it's really just want... a mustache, Rich. I think the time has come to take the Hitler mustache back. I propose President Obama actually grows a Hitler mustache. What? Furthermore, I, th I think it should be a new law that every member of Congress and the Senate be required to grow Hitler mustaches as well. That's just stupid, Joseph. Is it, Rich? Yes, Joseph. <laughs> and we won't stop with politicians. Will we? No, <laughs> we won't. I bet you have a photo for that. There it is. Yeah. And another thing. We should stop calling it a Hitler mustache. Mm. We should call it a Chaplin mustache. I mean, why focus on the asshole who sucked at art? All right, I just don't see the point of this, Joseph. That's because you're still living in a pre-Hitler mustache world. Join me in the world of the Chaplin mustache, Rich. Do what I did. Wear your Chaplin mustache out in public for a while. You'll notice a difference in the way people treat you. I'm sure you would, Joseph. Uh, Joseph Limbaugh, everyone. I'm Richard Keith, and that's all for this Acme News Update.
guy right there. Doesn't he know that I am the biggest Wizard of Oz fan in the world? I've been waiting for this moment for my entire life, Kathy. I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't get it. Denise, don't worry about him. Look, I know you love everything about that movie, and I'm going to make sure you walk out of here with that ruby slipper if it's the last thing I do. That's good, Kathy, because I really, I'm not leaving here until it's mine. Okay, our next item is definitely one of a kind. It is the slipper worn by Judy Garland during the filming of The Wizard of Oz. Our bidding will start at $10,000. I bid $10,000, no problem. <laughs> no problem? Wait a minute, Kathy, I, I, I didn't want to come and call me. Denise, I didn't think we were talking about that much money. Relax, I've done this dozens of times, don't worry. All right, I've heard 10. Uh, do I hear 15? Thank you, sir. I heard 15. Do I hear 20,000? $20, $20,000, and I say we stop the bidding right there. Sorry, but it doesn't work like that. <laughs> uh, do I hear 25? Thank you, sir. 25,000. Do I hear 30? Stop. We don't have that much money, Denise. Just relax, okay? I know what I'm doing. Um, I made $25,000 and a 2004 Ford Taurus. What? Final offer. You can't bid your car. Okay, I heard 25,000 and a shitty car. Bidding goes to you, sir. 30000 Thank you. Seriously, $25,000. Give it to you personally. I'm sorry, you can't bid $25,000 when we've already heard thirty. But by personally, I meant $25,000 and I'll give you a blowjob. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, sir, the bidding goes to you. Uh, is that your wife, sir? She is hot. Okay, I have a bid for sex with this man's very hot wife. Bid goes to you, miss. So it's like that, is it? Fine. My, my friend and I will let you have a three-way with us. What? <laughs> I could not. No. Come on. It's not like it'd be the first time. I, that was in college, and I was hot. All right, fine. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't realize that she had a twin. <laughs> okay, I have a bid for sex with incredibly hot, identical twins. Well played, sir, but not good enough. My friend and I will have a three-way with you, including spanking, reverse cowgirl, donkey punching, and the angry pirate. <laughs> I don't even know what that last one is, but I do love pirates. <laughs> sir, bidding goes to you. always go like this? Okay, our next item up for bidding is also one of a kind. It is the other slipper worn by Judy Garland. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah! 
You know, taking your roommates out on a double date was a great idea. Yeah, I hope it works out, because right now all that girl does is sit at home watching her Twilight DVD and cry. She needs a boyfriend. Speaking of which... <laughs> Have some mercy, have some mercy. Did you hear this final prayer I'll ask of you? Lord knows I've always tried to follow by your side, fully knowing all the hell they put you through. But lately, oh Lord, I get so tired. I can barely lift this two by off the floor. And it was not lost on me that you died at 33. I don't want to be a carpenter no more. The young blood, they got the strength for framing. The old, they got the skill to hang a door. But it's all the same, you see. Still cutting up a tree. And there ain't that many left now, that's for sure. This ain't about the blade that took my fingers Forever changed the way I pluck oh, a the cord way he plucks a cord Know the reason for my pleading Cause I, I got, got two kids need feeding And I don't want to be a carpenter no more Cause in my dream I fly in big machines and I'm making speeches on that Senate floor It appears that my desire Is the flame to start the fire And I don't want to be a carpenter no more Show compassion Cause like your father Mom was plumbing true And I worked by his side Up until the day he died And then that god darn owner up and sued So then Lord I tracked that money changer I took a sledge I hammered down his door Tried to turn the other cheek but that just crushed the meek And I don't want to be a carpenter no more Cause in my dream, dream I'm the man of means And I'm starring in that brand new picture show On HBO It appears that my desire 
is a flame start to fire And I don't want to be a carpenter no more So 
haven't had a lot of practice. <laughs> well, you all are so smart. That's why you're the doctors. Okay. <laughs>
I need a puzzle piece. I got him a job at the fire department. I even gave him a bunch of balloons and let him float away. You can write a series of books about all the ways I've tried to kill that monkey. <laughs> hey, look. We hate George, too. Then you'll help me. Yes, yeah, just that your plans seem a little convoluted and overly complicated. You should keep it simple. <laughs> Sleep soundly neath the low hanging moon. Simple pleasures in my head. Dreaming of the country, and I can see my remains in this long, long drive home. Count the hours. Counting memories, my thoughts are underwhelming Gears in my mind slowly turning There's a broken sign, something in my heart Keeps my tongue from speaking And I would not mind dying if you were by my side Light shines dim around us, I run my fingers down the scar the scene of the crime in your eyes Drink them down like wine Out here on this highway I hold the keys to nothing And I cannot help feeling Like something used before If I don't get killed out here And if the cops don't get me I hope that you will meet me at the door I'm either in the driver's seat Or under the wheel There ain't no in-between Simple pleasures in my head Dreaming of the country And I can feel my mistakes on this long drive home Simple pleasures in my head Dreaming of the country And I can feel my mistakes on this long This long drive home This long drive Ladies and gentlemen, the sheep! <laughs> 